Okay. <clears throat> well, I'll see ya. Are you serious? No, sort of. Come here. I don't want to leave you, like, ever. But I don't think I can deal if Dorian starts trying to get the details. How do I say it was amazing, mad, crazy, great? Just like that. <laughs> Welcome home, you two. I thought I was going to have to send out a search party. Hey, Bo, I know you got a lot on your plate right now. Thank you for keeping me in the loop. Okay. Any news on Justin the baby? Nothing yet. You okay? No, 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 definitely not. I'm so worried about them. I can barely wrap my mind around all this. I mean, just she's my friend and her baby. It's not her baby. I mean, her baby's actually my grandchild. Mine and Todd's. No more emergency rooms for you. Go home. Hi. I, I need to see Miss Delgado. She's in ICU for a reason. She needs to rest and be closely monitored. Well, can I just tell that I'm, a, I'm here and it's going to be okay and all that kind of stuff? A quick visit. I'm talking five minutes. I'll be back. Thank you for waiting with me. You can go home now. Oh, well, I'm not going anywhere. You just got out of this place. What do you want to stick around for? Well, I'm, I I need to talk to Taya. You don't even like Taya. Well, you know, we kind of shared something, you know, kind of. What? Well, just go, you just go see her, and then I'll go in there. Go ahead. No, I don't think no, that's a good No, come on. Why do, why do you argue with me all the time? Just go. Hurry up. Go. Stop thinking about Cole. I mean, how he's gonna react when I tell him about the baby. He wanted that kid. He took it real hard when he found out she didn't make it. I know. And now I remember how hard he does take things. Like when I told him his father had died. That look on his face, I actually have a memory of it. Not a great one, not so good, but actually I wouldn't give it up for anything. I'm glad you got your memory back. Me too. It's coming in waves now. We get just uh, waves of Cole and Patrick. That's good. It is. I um, I remember you too. Okay, but we we need to get something straight. And what is that? You're not getting a play-by-play -play of last night. No, no, this has nothing to do with last night. In fact, it's far more serious than that. What is it? Oh, why don't all three of us sit down, shall we? <clears throat> Langston, your cousin Lola is a very, very disturbed girl. Wait, is she the reason you called last night about the condoms? Actually, she got hold of the condoms and she punctured holes in them. Are you serious? I know it. She's a straight-up psycho. It's far worse than that. You see, after she told us about the condoms, she... 
This is really hard to believe, but... What? Tell me. Lola confessed that she had killed her own mother. No way. How the hell did you get out of the can? I'm calling the cops. Maybe I'll get a reward. Phone down, Roxy. I'm out on bail. And you think you got the right to come to my hotel? Yeah. We have a deal. That was then. And this is now. Okay, give me a free room and I won't tell anybody about you stealing blood from Hey, your... just drop it. I did what I did for my kid's kids, so just drop it already. Yeah, I know. You're a saint. Yeah, and you're an extortioner and a blackmailist. Well, after what you and your hot little friend Stacy are pulling on your precious little boy Rex, maybe I'm the saint. That's way beyond disturbed. Are you sure she wasn't high when she told you all of this? Because she came to prom with this drug dealer, Asher. Yeah, maybe she was just messed up and making up stories. Oh, she was definitely, as you say, messed up. But it's obvious that she was telling the truth about what she did to her mother. I just thought she was really bitchy, but she actually killed her own mother. What, what is wrong with her? They haven't made a definite diagnosis yet, but it's obvious to me that she has absolutely no conception of other people's feelings. Well, I guess not. She let her dad take the rap for that murder for all this time. Mm -hmm. And then she tried to blame it on her stepmother. Lola's going to jail, isn't she? At the moment, she's in St. Anne's for evaluation. Your Uncle Ray is with her. What's going to happen to her? Nobody is sure. The last thing I remember, I could barely keep my eyes open. Yeah, well, I guess I guess they could do that, huh? Mm. But you should consider yourself lucky, because Rebecca Lewis wanted to blow everyone to bits, and she ended up killing herself instead. Good. Wait, wait. Wait, what about Blair? How's, how's Blair no, doing? And Marty? Marty's fine. They're fine. Okay. You got the worst of it, certainly. I gotta tell you. I thought that was it. <laughs> I thought... Tell God how this is the end stop, of the Stop, stop. I don't want to hear that stuff. You're gonna be fine. Is that your professional medical opinion? No, that's the doctor's. And I made him swear on it. What? If I didn't know better. <laughs> I think you actually cared about me. Just a little bit. Poke off. <laughs> Poke off. Just, See? Don't make, Poke off. Don't, don't make me laugh. <laughs> Amazing. You know, for a second there, I thought you really wanted me dead. I thought you were actually going to pull that trigger. You're a real bastard, Don. But I could never hurt you. What, what, what did happen between you and Pal, anyway? Uh, John shot him. Oh. And I don't want to talk about that. I'm just glad you're okay. <laughs> 